Well, George directs Matt and Julianne in the dark dramedy Suburbicon. And Matt first worked with Weinstein in his breakout role in 1997's Goodwill Hunting, which co-starred Ben Affleck. What well, was through Ben that Matt says he learned that Weinstein stepped way over the line with Gwyneth Paltrow before production even began on 1996's Emma. I mean, I knew the Gwyneth story from Ben. I, I had heard that one, um, but, ne but not with Gwyneth. And, and I worked with her after that on Ripley, and she and I never talked about that. And at that point, like, Harvey was incredibly respectful of her. Matt explaining that he and Gwyneth worked together on 1999's Oscar nominated the talented Mr. Ripley several years after Paltrow claims she rebuffed Weinstein's advances. I always went, okay, well, he made a pass at her and she squashed it and they figured it out and they're professional again. So, um, People say, like, what did you know? I, I certainly didn't know that any crimes were being committed. I think it's really, really important when we discuss this thing that it's, it's, rather than it being sort of, you know, a salacious conversation, that this is criminal behavior. Right. I think that's the most important thing. Matt, you said that, you know, you had no idea that sexual misconduct was going on. Uh, what were some of the rumors, though, that you had heard? I mean, I think everyone knew he was a womanizer in the mm -hmm. sense that, you know, I, you know, I knew I didn't want to be married to him, you know, I mean, when I worked with him, it was when he was married to Eve, which was his first wife, in the 90s. And the last movie I did with Harvey was All the Pretty Horses, which was 99, and it came out in 2000. So then he met Georgina later, and I, every time I'd see him at an event, he'd always say, how lucky am I? Matt and his Suburbicon co-star Julianne Moore both worked with Weinstein several times. And you've never fortunately had any experiences like that. I mean, do you just consider yourself one of the lucky ones? Well, you were probably in your late 20s, right? Uh, this and is actually, uh, um, I was 29. Yeah, see, and I, I was I, never, I've never, was never alone with him ever, right. anywhere. But I, but the, but the, I do the, think the, it's important to talk about how young. How young these, were. these people were and how yeah. vulnerable they were. Yeah. Gwyneth was like 22 when yeah. this happened. This was before she was, you know, right. Gwyneth and, and uh, uh, the, you know, that's yeah. a big part of it. And these, these, these guys who do this, I mean, this is like serious sexual predation. Yeah. And it's about, it's, about, it's about targeting somebody who's vulnerable. Knowing the story that you'd heard from Ben about Gwyneth, do you wish, that, is there some part of you that had wished you had called him out or asked him, confronted but, him? I don't know what I would have done, you know? I heard from Ben who heard from Gwyneth that this happened. You know, I, I don't know Hearsay, how that would have. that, yeah. I don't know how that would have happened. I never saw anything in front. I mean, look, he was a bully. He was intimidating. He was, that was part of who he was. I mean, you had to spend a minute with him to know that, you know, he didn't treat people particularly well. Um, you know, so that was, you know, you knew he was in a, he was this force that's been, you know, he sucked up all the energy in the room. He was, he was Harvey Weinstein and it was Miramax and that was, that was the thing. But like, I, I you know, I, I had no idea. And I think it's men like Matt and George yeah. that can truly make a difference on this front going forward. Absolutely. In fact, Damon's given Clooney a lot of credit saying he's that kind of director that makes sure that women are as equally involved.